So the first step is downloading. For me, it's just as simple as, well, cutting it, find the common, and pasting here, and then hitting extract all. Take the get mods, copy it, and then paste over this one. Depending on what your system was, it may have started with an extra folder here like this. Just take this, cut, and paste. Now, let's assume that you do the git mods of someone else's mod and it doesn't work. We go into the git mods here, and the first thing you notice is that the URLs do not match the file path. What you need to do here is make sure that the file path matches the git mods for every one of these. So just get the name down and replace here for every one of these until the up into the first slash symbol and then paste you need to do this for every mod for anyone's mod then if the mod has another folder in here that is not listed in the directory if there's an extra folder to get to the directory you're going to have to add that to it. So you take it here, you add another dat slash, and you hit paste. Now this is case sensitive. Just as one final example, I'm going to go ahead and take this mod and cut it out. This mod is now empty and I'll just delete it. Folder, sorry. And this won't work because the git mods is wrong. We don't have a folder path over big battle, shoulder, mighty mouse, and then overhaul, blah, 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 blah. Now in this case, it's simple because we just took the we just took this part of it and erased it. But let's assume that it wasn't that simple. What you need to understand is that you just need to have any folder that it's in followed by a slash and then it's the folder of the actual neogame.xml itself. And make sure you get the overrides, which in this case is the zero folder and this field zero, wherever it went. So you'll notice here that this mod for the mighty M has a bunch of subfolders. Since we no longer have the over big folder, we have to remove that from the file path from the URL. We still keep this slash here because it's a subfolder where the NeoGame XML is. Now it is important to note that you do never ever change the mod name. Also, one final thing do not change, well, actually, keep the overrides dead last like I have here. All of these are just new items added to the game. These override the vanilla items and change them. If you put one of these in between them or after them, it won't always break your game, but there may be things that won't work right just because you didn't. 
Also, sometimes you get a black screen when loading when you try to hit new game or play your game. So it's important, at least in my experience, to put them in the back here. Also, if you open a gets mods like this to edit it and you find that it's all like this, what you want to do is find the first and symbol here and then put an enter space in front of each and every one of them. What this does is increases readability dramatically. One final thing you can do is separate the overrides, which are characterized by having a name of zero, and, and separate them like this. Now remember, I said it's best to put the overrides dead last like this. Don't forget to rename these accordingly. Starting at 0, going down to 2, and then 4. And don't forget your n rows equals 5. This should always be whatever this number is, plus 1, the last number that is. It doesn't matter if there's spaces here. It does matter if you do this, though. So. This right here would not work.